Hello, and welcome to the Hexagon Tips and Tricks video on Quick Features using the widget. In today's video, we will discuss the use of Quick Features and the widget. Quick Features are auto features that are quickly measured by holding the Shift key and clicking on the surface or feature. Using pre assigned settings that are discussed in another video, the feature is created quickly and easily. Sometimes there's a need to change those pre-configured settings to fit the needs of the feature we are measuring. Using the widget, we can now edit those features, change the name, or set the new default for that feature type. Clicking on the gear icon on the widget will display a submenu with the settings that can be changed on this feature. Clicking the three dots allows you to save the new settings as the default if you like. Clicking the small arrow to the right of the name allows you to change the measurement strategy that is being used for this feature. Based on the feature you're trying to measure, there can be many options inside of this dialog. Once all of your settings are correct, we can now name the feature for our routine. Remember not to use any special characters or spaces except for the underscore, letters, and numbers. Now that we have the feature the way we want, we can click the green check mark to complete the measurement or measure another feature and it will automatically complete the measurement. If a pattern of holes need to be measured, the user can accomplish this with a couple easy clicks. Select the surface that the holes are in before holding the shift key. Now hold the shift key and move up to the hole on the CAD model. Moving over the edge of the hole will highlight a group of circles, while moving inside of the feature will create a group of cylinders. Now that the features are created, the widget will have two styles of check marks, a single check and a double check. The single check will approve each feature individually with the settings in the widget, while the double check will approve all the features in the pattern with the settings provided in the widget. If any settings need to be added to the widget, they can be added via the measurement strategy editor. The small tick box beside each setting chooses whether the value is displayed in the widget or not. More on the measurement strategy editor can be found in another video. Now that we have measured our features, it's time to start dimensioning. So until next time, keep chasing those microns.